Welcome to the channel, human. I told these humans that Marvel was going to drop all the news. They were not going to stay quiet. DC, they were doing too much flexing. They was like, yep, the Batman, DC fan dome. Look at all these movies we got coming out on HBO Max. We got Wonder Woman. What y'all got? And they was like, Kevin Feige was like, hmm, I, I see what we need to do here. Go have a conversation with Sony, and uh, we will have something made available, and um, everything's going to work out. And then the scene transition is just all the stuff in the world is going to be in Spider-Man 3, including Charlie Cox's Daredevil. Because as far as I'm concerned, out of all those Marvel Netflix shows, Daredevil is by far the best one. Now, I think the other ones were good. I mean, Iron Fist was was not good <laughs> but the rest of them they were pretty damn good i enjoyed all of them except for iron fist but daredevil through and through the storytelling the fighting the characters charlie cox is daredevil vincent d'onofrio is kingpin it was just amazing i'm like it would be unfortunate if we don't see charlie cox and vincent d'onofrio again you have to do something and bring Charlie Cox in as Daredevil. You got to do it. You got to figure out where you're going to put him. And hopefully it's with Spider-Man. And here we are. Charlie Cox as Daredevil will appear in the Spider-Man 3 movie. The one coming up for the MCU. This whole multiverse thing. I remember how the Arrowverse. They were doing the multiverse for years, right? Then they had that Crisis on Infinite Earths where... They were dealing with the whole collapse of the entire DC multiverse. I mean, DC was making strides with this multiverse. And then they, you know, they announced the Flashpoint thing. And then some, some years ago, we had the Flashpoint animated movie. So uh, eventually, Marvel had to get to something multiverse. They sort of mentioned it in Doctor Strange. But it was really DC that, you know, they were fleshing out the whole multiverse thing. So it was just a matter of time before Marvel decided to do their version of it. And as long as it's executed right, I think we're going to end up with something great. If Spider-Man 3 is every bit as good as I think it's going to be, as a movie, it's going to be better than Avengers Endgame. Because I like Avengers Endgame, but at the same time, you really have two hours of fluff and the last hour is what we all care about, right? The portal scene, I am Iron Man and all that stuff. You, you know, you got the big battle as a result of the portal scene. It's really that last hour that you have to beat. And if Spider-Man 3 can be epic the whole time, bringing in all these characters, and then you can find a compelling story and Tom Holland Spider-Man is just getting his ass whooped and he needs some assistance... In comes the other Spider-Man, possibly some Spider-Women, and then you bring in Daredevil and all these different characters to help him out because there's so many villains and he can't possibly fight them on his own. Like, I, I wait to see how they're going to bring in Charlie Cox's Daredevil. You know, is it just going to be Spider-Man on a rooftop and then a portal opens up and then Daredevil just flips out and lands just like, yeah, I know, I know, I know I'm cool as fuck. What's up? Dude, who... Who are you? Oh, I'm Spider-Man. I'm Daredevil. Like, yo, that, that right there, I'm like, oh, like, they ain't even got to do nothing. Just him showing up will get me to go crazy. But of course, you know, if they're going to use Charlie Cox as Daredevil in the context of Spider-Man 3, in the context of the MCU, I'm pretty sure they're going to find a good use for him. And this is shaping up to be epic because we have so much stuff that's confirmed. And then we have so many rumors. There hasn't been many movies where you have just as much confirmed stuff as you have rumors. And sometimes it's hard to know what to believe. And I'm pretty sure when we watch the movie, there will be surprises in terms of how much is in this movie. You know, this is a lot to juggle. And if you do the wrong thing, you can end up with a disaster. It's really hard to juggle a lot of characters in the same movie. You have to have a really good narrative reason for it. And you want it all to flow nicely, right? You don't want no messy shit. So I hope that this works out really well for Marvel. And, uh, you know, based on the pandemic, 
I know a lot of silly humans think the pandemic's going to last forever. It's not. So, you know, maybe when this comes out, you know, things are close to getting back to how, you know, humans remember them to be in terms of going to the movies. But uh, if this movie can't do what it needs to do financially, you know, assuming that, you know, when they try to drop this, things are just not really comfortable for the humans. If as long as it's a good movie, it can be better than Endgame. I know Endgame is the little top and stuff. There are actually some humans that don't like Avengers Endgame, believe it or not. But the, the point is, is that that movie can be topped. I think it could be topped financially under the right circumstances. But uh, more specifically, I think it can be topped as a movie if you just can make a better movie overall and make it more coherent you know, you you bringing in a bunch of characters, you just make sure that everything works and it not only serves as a great story, but as a treat to Marvel fans around the world that love and appreciate these characters. So I'm excited to see Charlie Cox uh, return as Daredevil. I was I'm actually still hoping that they do a Daredevil season four. You know, I think that that show deserves to continue and then if they don't do that, I'm like, look, give Charlie Cox his own Daredevil movie. Marvel Studios' is Daredevil and give him a full-blown movie. That would be amazing. You know, I, I would, if I were in charge, I'd give him a trilogy of movies. You know what I mean? Like, I'd want him to have three movies. And you, you got to give Vincent D'Onofrio as well. You know what I mean? Like, Charlie Cox's Daredevil is perfect. But at the same time, if you can get Vincent D'Onofrio up in that motherfucker's kingpin, ooh, that'll just complete everything. I'm telling you, they're going to be making some more announcements. We're not done with all these Marvel announcements. And I can't get enough because I want all this stuff to go go well. You know, I want it all to turn out well. I'm a, uh, I'm a Marvel fan. I'm a DC fan. I always say I'm a bigger DC fan. But I love Marvel. I own so many Marvel movies. I own every single MCU movie. I used to read tons and tons of Marvel comic books, many characters, many different teams. So a lot of the stuff that they're pumping out, I'm familiar with in terms of content. And I'm always curious to see how they adapt it when it comes to these movies and shows. So let's hope for the best. Let me know down in the comment section if you're excited that Charlie Cox will be playing Daredevil in the context of an MCU movie. This one being Spider-Man 3. Or do you feel like they're just jerking our chain and this is not true at all? Because I looked at multiple sources and they say this is confirmed. There was only one where it said it's a rumor, but that was like some hours ago. And since then, based upon my research, they have indeed confirmed this. But again, you know, like we, I guess we just don't know until we see it. But it does look like Charlie Cox is returning as Daredevil. It looks like it's been confirmed. So this is good news is good news and everybody about to get on board with spider-man 3 if they were if they were just sleeping on that shit they awake now thank you for being here human you be sure to like this video and share it with the humans you know and then you punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the terrence family and until next time terrence out